Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour. His name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Wahavaka Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahabashai, in who I reverence. And honours to the elder apostles of great millstone that taught me this truth and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within within these last days. Alright. This lesson is going to be based on again another part of what the promises. You have a share. What has he left us with? Peace. That was a promise. So we're going to go to Genesis 49 and start at 10. It says the sceptre shall not depart from Judah. Okay. And again, the, the kingship. And who, who does it descend from? Okay, because yeah, we're all, nation, we're all a nation of kings, but the throne is what the throne is known as what the throne is. The house of David. Because it descends from what? The house of David. Okay, so that scepter. Okay, that royal line. Even though all the tribes are royal. Okay. Begins with what? Judah. Not a lawgiver from between his feet. Until Silo. Come. So it was, that was never going to depart. Okay. And who's Silo? Okay. And what is Silo? Silo is Yahavashai. Okay. Going back to Solomon and Silo means peace. Okay, which you get shorted for that word shalawam. Okay, so when you say shalawam, you're greeting someone with peace. Okay, it means what? To be peaceful. Okay, and Yahweh he is also known as the Prince of Peace. Okay. And unto him shall be gathered. Gathering of the people shall be. Because what all nations are gonna want bow down to Yahweh So now Make sure I get this in the right order. Let's go to John 14 and 27. All right. And also, when Solomon was on the earth, what was there? So how how long? Was it 70, 40? I forgot how long it was. There was peace. Anyways, okay. When King Solomon was on the scene, there was peace for all that time he was ruling. All right. So let's go to John 14 and 27. Not just doing any type of old videos. I'm doing videos so brothers can be what built up and edified. Okay. Let's go to John 14 and we're going to jump straight to 27. So that 26, but the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, which he gave to his men in these times. Because remember, have you believed in now? You know, like nobody has it. No, he's giving them the comforter. And that comforter was going to guide them in these times. Right? This word is a comforter. Right? Which is the Holy Spirit whom the Father will send in my name. Okay? So that also shows you, you've got to know the name as well. He shall teach you all things. Who? Yahweh Shai. And bring all things to your remembrance. Okay. Reaming and back members from what your mind. Whatsoever I have said unto you. Peace I leave with you. See peace. Okay. Not not uncertainty. Not unsurety. Not doubt. Scripture says peace I leave with you. Okay. So this is what we got to be showing. If we call ourselves being of the hopeful elect. We got to show well this peace. That we've been given is through Yahushua, through the Comforter, has been given to us. Or then even he wouldn't, he wouldn't have said, I leave with you. Another promise. Okay. My peace I give unto you. Okay. And peace is also what greetings. Okay. Shalom. Not as the world giveth, because the world is what? Fake. The way this world operates is fake. Man, smile on your face, may have a cheesy grin on his face. May say peace, but he's thinking about how he can uh, overthrow you. That's the way of this world. Give I unto you, not as the world give, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. That word heart is mind. 
Yes, we know, look, Esau's going to do all types of things. Esau is doing all types of things. We know he wants everybody chipped. We know he wants everybody controlled. And we know he wants to get rid of what the hopeful elect. We know he's going to slander. But the scripture says, let not your heart be troubled. We know World War III is coming. The scripture says, let not your heart be troubled. So if anybody's pushing anything else except from faith, then their heart's obviously troubled. Neither let it be afraid, even though we get the moments where we get a bit, yeah, but it says, neither let it be afraid. This is, see, reassurance from Yahweh Shai. Okay. You have heard, I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If you love me, you would rejoice, because I said I go unto the Father, for your Father is greater than I. Okay. So Yahweh Shai, he was giving us great solace and great comfort. Within these words, you know what? Something comes to mind. Bear me just a minute. Something comes to mind. Something I wrote down a couple of days ago. Is it still here? But you know what? That could be. That could be for another lesson. You know. You know what? Now you know what. You know what? Leave that for now. Anyway, let's stay on point. So now we're going to go to Psalms 23. One of my, this is one of my favourites. It's a very, very common scripture that gets brought out as well. Psalms 23, it says, The Lord is my shepherd, Yahweh Yahweh So he's our shepherd. He's our guider. He guides us. Even when you may fall, when the sheep goes astray, you look for that one sheep. I shall not want. So we're not going to be covetous. The hopeful we're not going to be covetous. Then we're not going to be looking at another man's gift. Okay, I'm wanting that, desiring that, or his woman and desiring that, or his, tr or his trainers, or whatever he's got, and desiring that, right? So the hopeful, they were not going to be covetous. King David, he was not covetous, okay? He maketh me to lie down in green pasture. What's pasture? Grass. Okay, what you graze on. Okay, and the pastures is this word which we're grazing upon, which we're eating, he leadeth me beside still waters. Still waters is running waters and it's calm waters. That's why you got this image right here. Okay. And when you're amongst still calm water, maybe a lake, it could be a, a river. It's very what peaceful. The sound of water. Running water. He restoreth my soul. And that's why a lot of people meditate. You know them people that are into them different philosophies. They like to meditate with what the water drops and all that. Because they, they even know that water, there's something peaceful about water that's flowing. He restoreth my soul. See, Habasha, he restores us. Right? He leadeth me in the path of righteousness. So if, you're, if your spirit is being restored, that means you're growing from what? Strength to strength. Okay? He revitalizes us. He leadeth me. And what does that? It's the words. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness. For his name's sake. Okay. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I know a lot of you brothers and sisters know this scripture. Right. I will fear no evil. Because there's what? Death and evil and sin around us. For thou art with me. Thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. What comfort. Peace is also synonymous with what comfort. Thou pre preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. And they hate it. They hated that we're eating of this word. Okay. And they're outside of that table. They're outside of that of that um banquet. It says that anointed my head with oil, my cup ran over. And was not King David anointed with oil by Samuel? And his cup ran over. That's what I'm referring to the knowledge. Okay. You always brothers that have different topics and Always something to speak about. Why? Because your cup's running over. The Lord's blessed you. Okay. That cup running over is a blessing. It's an increasement in the spirit. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. If that ain't comfort, you tell me what what, what is. If that ain't comfort. Okay. Bear me just a minute. Hey, these scriptures are beautiful, man. 
And I always say nobody can nobody else can take that joy away from you. Okay, except from you have a shy. It's just that men they don't they don't really value these words. If if you believe these words, you're gonna value these words. Okay, so now let's go to Philippians, a couple more scriptures and we shut off. Go to Philippians 4 and 7. Let me just a minute, before we go to that, we shut off on that. Michael 4 and 3. And he shall judge among the people, many people. Okay, many. Who? You have a shy and rebuke strong nations afar off and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall lift up sword against nation. Neither shall not shall not lift up sword against nation. Why? Because there's going to be peace. You're not going to have any war in the kingdom. Okay, that's happening now. So peace can be established. Okay. Neither shall they learn war anymore. It doesn't mean that the heathens are not going to be judged. They're still going to be judged. They're still going to be following our ways. They're still going to be punished. But there's not going to be no war in our kingdom. But they shall sit every man under his vine and under his fig tree, and shall none make them afraid. For the mouth of the Lord of hosts have spoken it. The angels for all people will walk everyone in the name of his power. Okay, Yahweh Yahweh and we will walk in the name of the Lord Yahweh our power forever and ever. In that day, saith the Lord, I will assemble her that haughteth, okay, that slippeth, that sinneth, okay, and I will gather her that is driven out. And her that I have afflicted. Okay. And we shall have on this Philippians 4 and 7. And the peace of the Most High, Yahweh Yahushai, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts. This is what's going to keep us, that peace. And part of peace is what I don't want to go into it, is a sound doctrine. Okay. Not if and or is this the truth, is that the truth? Is a sound doctrine. Keep your hearts and your minds through Yahavashai and Masha, because that's the only way we're going to abound, is through Yahavashai. So with this lesson, I hope this was edifying, and until the next time, Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom.